Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. Okay, so swapping out ECUs. I did learn something from swapping out ECUs. This is for Hyundai and Kia as well. Now, this car has a Smartra unit and it also has an ECU unit which is located down here, which is this car computer. Sometimes they're located under the bonnet. Now there's two, three parts. You've got your ECU, Smartra box, which is located, I think, up around here somewhere. And then you've got your antenna, your key coil antenna, which is there. They all talk to each other. All right, so what I wanted to do for this car is I wanted to take the ECU out, the original one, and put in this donor one. So to do that, I unplug that, I plug the new donor one in, and then I neutralized the donor ECU and the car's Smartra box, which is was fitted. I didn't need to remove it. Now, to, to neutralize it, I needed to calculate the pin number from the VIN number um, of this donor ECU. That's one pin number that I needed. It actually comes with two pin numbers. Each, each uh, VIN number has two pin numbers, one for the ECU and one for the Smartra box. So I had to generate those two pin numbers off this VIN. Then I also had to generate the pin numbers for the car off the current car's VIN, okay, off the original equipment. So I'm, I'm left with four codes. One for the new system, one for the old system. So to neutralize the old Smartra, I used the VIN number of the car. To neutralize the new ECU, I used the VIN number of the donor car. Okay, once they're neutralized in, then we could um, go through, add the keys. If you mess up the pin numbers and you get it wrong, you're going to be having to leave your car and accessories for an hour and then don't turn it off, otherwise you'll have to do it all over again and then you have to go through and do it again until the time you've got your keys learnt. Once the keys are learnt, you're gonna get a solid light. When you put the key in the dash, an orange light with a key inside of it, it's gonna be solid, meaning that the key is accepted. If you don't get that when you put the key in and you turn it, then your key is not accepted. It's not registered in the ECU and the Smartra. Okay, now, I wanted to pull this out and I wanted to put the original one back in. So what I need to do now is neutralize again. So to neutralize my original ECU, which is back in the car now, I had to use the pin number of the um, original ECU, uh, which is the, the current car's VIN number. So I used that PIN number. Now, to neutralize the Smartra, here's, this is the bit that got me, I had to use the PIN number of the donor ECU, not, not the car's, not the original ECU. And that kind of got me. I thought I never pulled out the Smartra. It should be the PIN number. It should, shouldn't have changed. But it seems that the PIN number does change on the Smartra to adapt to whatever ECU is in there. So if you've put an ECU in there and paired it all up, that would then be your new PIN number. So if, if I put this donor one in, working off this VIN number, and I pair it all up, now the Smartra is working off this PIN number for this VIN number, if that makes sense. Because that cost me a, a couple of hours there of mucking around. Once you neutralize them both, you do your key and roll and all the rest, then you can go through, you can do your injectors, you can do all your other um, type of learning that you want to do to initialize the ECU. Okay, two other options. Um, another option, you can bypass the immobilizer system. There is a chip in there. You can take this to an ECU repair guy and tell him to turn the immobilizer off. That would mean that you don't have to worry about the Smartra. You don't have to worry about transponder keys. Simply plug and play your new um, ECU in and away you go. That can be do, done as well. We don't do it, but there is people out there who can turn that immobilizer function completely off. Uh, might be good for some people in the bush or places where transponders are not necessary or for vehicles that are work vehicles, you don't want the headache of, of that. Uh, next option is you could take your old ECU and your new ECU to uh, ECU repair place. They can take all the information from one and put it onto the other. That might be very handy for a lot of people who don't have um, scan tools, who don't have the time to program it. They know they've got a faulty ECU, so they could take in the faulty, take in a donor, and they'll clone one to the other, and your, then your new donor ECU will become the same as your old one, except it's like, you know, it's a, a, another computer, so it's it's like hopefully not going to have the problems that your current ECU had on to make you want to swap it. Anyway, that's um, that's how you do it. If that's confusing, just replay it back a few times, write it down. But the thing that cost me the most amount of time is I didn't realize that the Smartra actually adopts the the pin numbers and VIN numbers off the ECU once they've been neutralized and paired up. I didn't realize that. So when you, I was trying to flick backwards and put the old one back in, I didn't realize that uh, we were actually using the pin number of this donor, um, even though I'd, I'd swapped both parts back to the original. I thought, I put both parts back to the original, I'm using the original pin numbers. No. Once you, once you pair up your Smartro to an ECU, that's the PIN number you're going to be using. Um, it comes with two PIN numbers. Each VIN number comes with two PIN numbers. The first PIN number is to 
log into your ECU. Second PIN number is to log into your Smartra. So when you give us a VIN number, we'll give you two PIN numbers. One is for one, one is for the other. Um, that also can cause conf confusion and uh, and make it go into lockout. You get three chances. If you mess it up, you've got to put the car on accessories for an hour, leave it, uh, put a jump start or a power pack on it, and then do it that way. Alrighty, that's uh, our video for, for today. Matching ECUs on Hyundai, Hyundai's and Kia. Alrighty, thanks for watching.